Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Piano TV. We're in a little bit of a different locale right now. We're at my piano. What I am going to be starting here is I'm going to take a piece of music that I learned. This one I would have learned about 10, 11, maybe even 12 years ago. And I'm going to go through the process of relearning it. We've done videos like this before, the play piano with me, practice piano with me videos, where I kind of like let you be a fly on the wall for my practice sessions. And I want to do the same thing, but this is with like an old piece that I've never or that I like haven't touched in a long time. So I have learned it before and I'm hoping it'll come together a little bit faster because of that. Another thing that's gonna make this video hopefully kind of interesting and this is this video is my control. Uh, in the next video, I will be simultaneously learning another piece from my past, one that I learned even longer ago, like 15 years ago, of like a comparable difficulty, but I'm going to be doing it with an exciting twist. Um, we'll get to that in the next video, just as a kind of comparison thing. So um, without further ado, I'll explain what I'm playing and I'll just kind of start practicing. We'll go from there. Okay, the piece that I am working on is called February Sea by George Winston. And George Winston is one of those like new age composers. Actually, both of the pieces I'm gonna be learning in this video and the next are uh, like new agey type composers. But it's a really, really cool piece. It's got like a left hand motif that's pretty consistent throughout the whole thing. And then the right hand just has this improvisational flavor to it, riffing over top of it. Um, and there's, I remember there's a couple of really, really difficult parts in there. So I'm wondering if like, you know, 10 years later, if I'm gonna be more adept at playing this than I was 10 years ago, or if it's still gonna be a bit of a struggle. So I guess we'll find out. 20 minutes in, I basically just refreshed my memory on the first two and a half pages, nothing major. I'm playing at a slow tempo, but surprisingly some of the weird triplets and stuff are coming back to me a lot faster than I would have expected. <laughs> hit the 60 minute mark and my brain's starting to melt. Um, I've managed to speed up the beginning because the beginning is coming back to me pretty easily. Yeah, and that's where I start falling off the rails. So. Um, in the time in between videos, I've basically worked through the third and half of the fourth page, which is probably as far as I'm going to get in this sec in this uh, session. Because again, my brain's kind of melting here. Ah, yeah, that's about where my brain is starting to end for now. All right, so I am about two and a half hours in. And I've played eight of the nine pages pretty slowly, um, but I have the first couple pages memorized now, and the first like three pages are relatively up to speed. And then I'm slowly working on my speed in other parts. Um, this is the beginning. getting into the fifth page now. One, two, yes, that is the fifth page. So feeling pretty good about my progress so far. So I've just hit the four and a half hour mark and I can play the whole thing. Um, all like, I don't know how many, nine pages of it or something like that. And I have five out of nine pages memorized and I've been working on that memory the last little bit. I'm um, just kind of going over it. This is a really difficult piece to memorize because there, there's like, the sections are so similar to each other, but there's little variations each time when they repeat. And they're different enough that like, 
Uh, they're, they're close enough together that it's hard to remember and I, I start mixing them up a little bit. So memorizing this has been a challenge. But the reason I memorize this is, well, I can't have nine pages open in front of me. And also because there's a lot of like giant leaps and stuff and it's just easier to play when I don't have to focus on the page. So that's my current struggle. The, there's this part at the very end that I'm still very slow at. <laughs> It's like a really, really fast little part, but the the patterns change. There's no there's no like sequence to it, so uh, that one's been been giving me a challenge. But the rest of it's coming together pretty fast. Um, one part I'm working on right now um, that I recently memorized. Let's see if I can pick it up there. through, maybe like three quarters through, I start doing these. So I'm working on a couple things right now. I've been working on, the first thing I started with when I was the most fresh is the part that I find the most difficult. And the temptation is to just like play through the beginning because I'm good at that part and to ignore the difficult part. But um, today I'm like, you know what, no, I'm going to like get through this difficult part with the, the weird fingering and the weird changes and, and I spent a good 10-15 minutes on that. And that's... Uh... tempo it's not up to speed like mostly everything else is um, and I'm slowly every now and then I'll do like a burst of speed where I try and you'll notice it's, it's sloppy so I don't do it like that very often but just to like remind my muscles to that we are working to that fast speed so I don't get too laid back in the, the moderate tempo. The other thing I was doing is working through the first five pages that I have memorized to make sure if there's any memory gaps that I'm sealing them. Um, there's a couple spots I still find. Um, there's this fast little run in the right hand that I, I still really struggle with. So I, I have to kind of keep working through that in isolation as well. So I've approached the seven hour mark and I can happily say that I have it 100% memorized, but I can also say that it's not memorized super well. I have to 
at the beginning of each session, kind of reference the sheets and stuff to make sure I'm putting everything in the correct order. Sorry, they're hanging out in the other room. <laughs> I'm playing it about supper time right now. So, um, but everything is mostly up to speed. There's a couple little parts, like uh, towards the end, where I'm doing. think through it my fingers aren't quite coordinated enough yet and there are a lot of parts too where like I haven't sunk into it well enough to be able to play with the dynamic nuances that's more like the first half but some some parts are coming together quite nicely <laughs> hard time getting that part like smooth and seamless but the it's really fun to play now that my fingers can do it it just kind of feels like a waterfall it's very lovely speed like that. Now you'll notice I had like a couple little leggy spots and whenever I kind of like pause and leg, I usually do that when I'm trying to play at full speed but I don't want to make a mistake um, because then you're practicing a mistake, right? Not that it's like awesome to pause but it's better to pause than to match the wrong notes, at least in my opinion. The other thing that I've really been struggling with is keeping that jump times in a row. When I get in the groove then it's fine, but when I'm just kind of like randomly jumping into it, I have to, and there's an even bigger jump where I'm jumping all the way down to see there's one point where I'm jumping all the way down so it's like a two octave jump, which is kind of insane. Uh, and that's the hardest part of the piece for me. I think that that part's even harder than like like the really really fast finger work because the finger work you kind of get in like a little hand rocking, but it's just like these relentless jumps. They they will be the end of me. All right, so I'm gonna do my final playthrough, and again, I've been practicing for about eight hours up until this point, and there's a couple patchy parts. There's a really fast section near the end that I'm still not quite there on. There's a couple iffy parts that I, I still need to work through, and my memory is like 90% there, but I have a couple memory legs sometime. So all of that being said, um, this is definitely ready to just stew on the back burner for me to play through maybe 15 minutes every couple days, and I'll just kind of do that for the next month or so to, to let it marinate a little bit, but here we go. My laptop's about to die, so I'm gonna try this again. <laughs>
So now that I'm finished, I have a few thoughts. I spent about eight hours total working on it, which is awesome. It's really nice to know that relearning a piece, even from over a decade ago, takes probably like somewhere between a third to half as much time at absolute most. I'm pretty sure when I would have learned this initially, it would have been a good 20 hours, probably more. So it was nice to see that I cut that in half to relearn. And now I can, you know, maybe keep it in my repertoire. It's definitely one that I'm gonna keep working on idly because as you've seen, I'm not perfect at it. Not that perfection is ever really something that I, I think I can achieve, but to be able to get really comfortable with the entirety of it, right now it's settled enough that I'm pretty comfortable with the first half, but in the second half I start running into a little bit more like memory glitches and then technical issues and things like that. So I wanna just kind of keep, keep letting it sit on the back burner to really gel those parts together. Um, but yeah, like I'm happy, I'm happy with that experience. So now in the next video with the other piece that I've been working on, stay tuned for that because there's a little bit of a twist. Um, I don't want to get into it today, but this was our control piece and the, well, I'll explain it in the next video. So stay tuned for that. I hope you had fun practicing piano with me and I'll catch you in the next one.